so good for you yeah good for yeah. you yeah. so did you since then have you had any expectations when you got into the fashion the business of fashion absolutely so when i launched the brand my namesake brand the Laura marmot in 2020 mm -hmm. i was thinking okay you know i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a little website and a little instagram i'll do you know fashion week and everything's gonna pop up everything's gonna be great and that wasn't the case although i'm happy that i had that like you know naivety going right. into it i was very faithful and i still am but the reality is more like there's so much work that goes into building a fashion brand that is very different from building any other type of business. You know, Gosh. I see a lot of people doing like the drop shipping thing on Amazon. They like Ciao. have these little gadgets and gizmos mm -hmm. to sell. And those mm -hmm. products, they do sell themselves. But when you're talking about and not even just a clothing company but a fashion brand where you're you're creating new designs you know i'm not just here doing graphic tees and nothing wrong with the graphic tee people but a clothing company uh, and a fashion brand highly do, skilled garment yeah. maker it yeah. takes time it's very different so mm -hmm. what i've realized is that people buy the name before they buy the garments so right now my 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 expectation at the time was never like oh like i need to be out there people need to know who i am i wasn't really thinking about that i thought if i right. could make just really beautiful garments that were well made you know people would flock but people want the name they want to know who what is nlm what is this name what is this logo what is this brand because people you know it's psychology mm -hmm. and understanding the psychology of, of retail right. psychology is very important right. too so i think the big wake-up call was realizing there was a lot more work than i could have ever of imagined mm -hmm. Fat. I want to I want to point out to everyone who else watches this, who's watching this now or watching the replay. But you notice how there's a pattern that everyone said they wanted to make their collection and then they're going to do a, a runway show. They're going to do the <laughs> website and then, bam, everyone's going to buy. And um, you noticing how everyone's saying this similar things, but it's just like, OK, where's my customers? Like the last designer said, Aisha said last week but it's hard work you got to get out there you gotta it's in digital media like the way they're controlling this freaking out these, these algorithms she was just christ i was like child i'm about to start getting out there in these streets and that's exactly what i've been doing but yeah that's right but you know what it is also a labor of love because i see what i do as like this is my career this is my life i wouldn't be doing right. anything else so even though there have been bumps in the road and whatnot mm -hmm. that's just part of the story like everything that's happening is like my autobiography that's just unfolding and in 40 years time we're going to be writing in the book oh you know i was when i was uh first starting off the brand it was like this and it was like that mm -hmm. it's all part of the story so there's no part of it where i'm like it, that frustrates me right i just go okay let's just reassess let's see how we can make this better how we can move forward because there's no other option. There's no option to quit. There's no option to wrap it up. We're just gonna keep on keeping on on this on this road. Right. Some of the greatest designers did not even start like popping off or designing until like after I'm gonna say 32, like roughly. Yeah. But a lot of them was like in their later part of their 30s. Yep. So it out and you know what i tell anyone do any and everything in your 20s do all the fuck ups and then like in your 30s you'll be like okay in my 20s i did all this yeah. now i can kind of reflect and like kind of just hone in on what i feel like more secure in yeah that's true